the BC Residential Tenancy Branch presents an information video on dispute resolution hearings. Sometimes, landlords and tenants experience conflict with each other for a variety of reasons. With a tenancy dispute, there are three ways to resolve it. Since each step gets more time-consuming and straining on the relationship, we recommend you start with the first. The first and easiest step is to talk with each other about what is happening and see if you can identify solutions that would work for both of you. Sometimes the other person just doesn't realize what is going on or doesn't understand it from your perspective. If this doesn't work, the second step is to send them a letter asking them to address whatever issue is causing the dispute. You can do this step on your own or with the help of a friend or a relative. The third step is to file for an application for dispute resolution and or serve a notice to end tenancy with the residential tenancy branch. This may result in a hearing with an arbitrator. This video will help you understand the dispute resolution hearing process. The residential tenancy branch arbitrators are experienced in conducting hearings and will adjust them to suit the needs of the parties and the specific type of claim. So don't worry if the hearing does not go exactly the same way as this video. Sometimes these hearings will move into a settlement discussion. For our video on settlements, please visit www.gov.bc.ca slash landlord tenant slash videos. A hearing has six usual steps. 1. Call into the hearing and provide your name, the name of anyone else that is with you, and identify whether you are there as or on behalf of the landlord or the tenant. 2. The arbitrator will ask the first person, also known as a party, to explain the evidence they have submitted related to the issues at hand. 3. The arbitrator will ask the other party to explain their evidence. 4. If needed, witnesses will explain what they know. 5. Both parties will have the chance to respond to what the other party has said. 6. When the hearing is over or the arbitrator has heard enough evidence, they will conclude the hearing and will provide you with the written decision within 30 days. You may have someone else represent you at the hearing, like an assistant, advocate, or lawyer. Make sure the person assisting you is aware of all the facts, documents, and events that have occurred. You may also use a translator if you have difficulties with English. It is important to remember that this is a legal process and that the arbitrator's decision is final and binding. Like any other legal decision, it can be appealed for certain reasons. Be courteous and respectful. The arbitrators will not tolerate yelling, foul language, or interruptions. The more prepared you are, the smoother the hearing will go. Thanks for watching our video. For more information, please visit our website at www.gov.bc.ca slash landlord tenant.